mid-November and I've arrived in Erari for a few days of solitude and adventure. I'm here in the Mulwins, a barren playground of bogs, rocky outcrops and generally unforgiving terrain. Winter is chasing at Boredom's tail and the weather forecast has a bit of everything. But I'm not yet aware that this gorgeous start is going to gradually unravel into beautiful chaos. So with a spring in my step and a few butterflies in my belly, I start out on my journey for three nights alone in the wild. Hello Wild Buns, it's my first multi-night trip since I injured my ankle. So what I do on this trip will very much depend on how my ankle is and uh, how the weather is. I'm expecting it to be really changeable. I just don't know how this one's gonna go, but I am absolutely thrilled to be out in the wild. So it's coming up to two o'clock now. So we've got, what, two and a half hours before the sun actually sets. We'll be finding somewhere to make a cozy little nook for the night and then we'll make a plan. So this is where our lovely, neat track ends. We're heading over that direction, north. Let's do it. Look, gator protection. They're actually love these. I don't know why I've not tried them before. <sighs> Slow going through there. It is typical soggy, sloppy mole winds. I love the mole winds, but they are soggy. So there's a lot of poke in the ground to check what's solid and what's not. I don't want to fall into a bog. <laughs> Let's have a little look at the map and see where we want to head. So we've come all the way along this track here and we're about here at the moment. So looking across at this valley, I think if we can cross this valley and get to the other side, We've got an hour and a half before the sun goes down, so I think that'll be okay. And we'll pitch around here somewhere for night one. This is well sketchy here, look. See that, like a bog thing there. So, taking the way around it, but <laughs> not much better. Oh, it's my least favorite type of ground, this. Real pain in the butt. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? All right, let's go. heard a cow. Oh, I don't like cows. Hmm. Let's check it out. Here we are. <laughs> a public right of way with cows on it. Oh I love those. Oh god I have to go right through them. Let's hope for the best I guess. Hope they're friendly cows. Hi cows. Come in peace. Carry on. Munching grass and stuff. Oh, bloody hell. Just wondering if I can throw myself over this wall if needs be. Oh look, I can see the gate over there. Maybe I just won't make eye contact. Oh, they don't seem bothered. Thank God. Things about cows as well. A lot of the time they just want to come and check you out because they're curious. But sometimes they're mad and crazy. Is this the gate? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, more cows here. The dogs wanna come and see me off as well. Uh, okay. Can I come through? Oh. Hello. Uh, uh. Okay, thanks guys. Hey look! Black sheep! I know how it feels friends. That was scary. No offence to any cows that might be watching, of course. I know the vast majority don't want to skewer me up against a wall. Right, so I'm coming back out of that valley now. 
up the other side and I'm back on open access land so the sun's gonna be going down soon. I'm gonna find somewhere to pitch. Oh, what a first day, where should we go? That'll do, nice and flat. Oh, let's get this tent up. What a gorgeous pitch. So we've walked just under five kilometers on day one. Uh, that is Molshubod behind. There's just mountain views all over. I've got my hilly today all set up. Pretty flat, a little bit wonky donkey, but that's okay. Uh, I feel pretty nice and secure with my hilly. So if we get really cold weather, it'll help me to stay warm. And if we get really windy weather, it's a pretty sturdy tent. So I just feel much more at ease having this with me, even though it's a bit heavier than I'd like, but yeah. So it's coming up to five o'clock now. I've got my own personal water source right down there, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna fill up on water, sort my bed out and everything, get all my stuff sorted out. We'll have a nice relaxing night and think about what we might wanna do tomorrow. My ankle is absolutely fine. I'm really, really thrilled about that because I was a bit concerned about it and I knew I had to take it easy and I still will be taking it easy. Hopefully it will last the whole weekend, but we'll see. Hear that? That's the Conway Valley train. That train actually goes like under the mountains and under a lake. It's quite fascinating. I think it's like a four kilometer long tunnel underneath all the rock. It's crazy. Oh, it's a bit nippy now. It is five and a half degrees. That is damn cozy. Right, I'm gonna make my dinner now. I've got delicious chicken curry tonight, home cooked. Yeah, what were we camped at? About 310 meters elevation, I think. It's pretty brisk, considering the time of day. It must be, what is it? Yeah, it's half six and it's five degrees, so I think it's gonna be a little bit chilly. Oh, so good. At the moment, we are pitched here for night one. It's a beautiful night. Get some breaks in the clouds and I can see bits of the Milky Way, Pleiades, Seven Sisters, which is shining so bright. I've never seen Pleiades so bright before. And I've actually got reception up here as well, which is quite unusual. So I've checked on the weather and it looks like tonight's gonna be lovely and tomorrow's gonna be lovely, but then tomorrow night's really gonna drop down to two degrees. It might snow as well because the next day some bad weather's coming in, apparently. Of course, it might change by then. I've been looking at my map for hours trying to figure out what to do and I can't decide because of the weather. So I'm gonna sleep on it and have a look at the weather again in the morning and make a plan. Looks absolutely horrendous on Sunday. There's so many what ifs. So much of doing this is just sort of I'm trying to plan for the worst. Just not knowing. It's the unknown. That's the most frightening thing sometimes. the dawn 7 a.m. and it's raining. I didn't sleep very well last night. I think I'm a bit anxious if I do this big route I wanted to do by the time I'm going along this ridge on a skyline up there and it's like heavy rain, downpours, 30, 40, 50 kilometer per hour winds and it looks like it's going to be pretty non-stop so I just don't think it's a good idea. So I've been thinking what to do instead and I think I'm gonna head to, I think it might be called Moeleda. Moeleda? Moeleda. 
I'm not sure but it's got this really cool like gully next to it so I thought while the weather's nice today we'll get some distance in back round the valley and over there there's some mines over there as well we can check out and um, potentially have a lake camp on the last night so this bit round here is just a short distance we can just mosey about take our time in the really crappy weather that's coming and the distance we're gonna do today it is nice today it's warm you know <laughs> when it pans out like this I just feel like a bit of an idiot walking around with an ice axe You never know, huh? Let's go! So we're heading west now. I think it's gonna be quite hard going, so I'm gonna be taking my time, but I kinda have to, because I'm roasting, carrying all this winter gear. And it's like spring. I'm too hot. All right, so here we are overlooking the valley that we came through yesterday. Came through over there somewhere and i'm gonna try to get round so over there and down on the other side of the valley and then up there to our little lumpy bumpy powered by pick and mix i mean that might be a bit of a trek on this terrain but we'll give it a go oh look that's a fox you see him hi friend oh red fox this is not too bad actually Oh, I can hear the moo cows. All right, it's half 11, so we've got, what, five hours before sunset to get to there. Let's do it. Let's try across here. It's solid. All right, so we can see where we've been today. That's lovely moisture bud in the background. We've come over this rise and followed this all along and down. And now we're heading over there and west. Got a nice view now. See where we're heading, and there's the river down there. So we're gonna see if we can get down to the river. See that bridge there? Cross over that bridge and follow this track in that direction. Wow, I love that. <laughs> Trees growing in houses. So cool. Nature just takes over, takes it all back. This here is a ruined settlement of. It feels like heaven to walk on this track. After all that, I'm glad to get it done today on the good weather day. I'm gonna find somewhere to stop for a bit of lunch. It's half one and so far today, we have traveled only 2.6 kilometers, which is nuts, but it's been fun <laughs> and uh, I'm really glad to be getting away from the valley down there now because although I've been only on open access land I don't like being close to the boundary because there's always like fences put up where they shouldn't be and stuff like that it's a bit annoying but I am out in the wilds again which is wonderful it is nice to be fed and watered I feel like the temperature's dropped. It feels like November now. So we're following an old mining track at the moment, which is easy peasy. And once we follow it around, we should be able to see our little hill again. Moody skies. I don't know if we'll make it. What's the time? Half two and sunset is at half four. Yeah, we should do. Right. Let's get going. Look, there's our hill, and that's the gully next to it. Let's see if we can get down there. So now that I'm closer to this gorge, I can see that it's not one I'm going to be able to get up. A serious gorge but it'll be nice to look at so 
I get a little bit closer and then it'll be time to find somewhere to pitch. It is, what is it? It's quarter past three. So we've got an hour and a quarter until sunset. Ooh. somewhere to pitch and we'll get all cozy for the night ready for the weather to come in it's gonna be fun look at this little flat spot beautiful water mountain this will do Of course, I am expecting a lot of rain, so I'm just thinking if the water level's gonna rise, but I don't think it's gonna go over there. I think that bit might fill up there. temperatures dropping oh my god that's crazy I've never seen it drop that fast before <laughs> hmm. it's like a sudden sudden drop How weird hey guys I have made a regrettable decision so just looking at the map and where I'm pitched, which I thought would be fine, and it probably will be, <laughs> but it's just that this little stream, river, is directly linked to the lake I wanna to go to tomorrow. So if that lake bursts its banks, it's gonna flood straight down here. <sighs> I won't sleep here, and I don't think it's, it's wise. Right, we're on our way. And uh, this is not the ideal place for night hiking, but it's better than death. I mean, if that lake did go and flood, that wouldn't be like, oh, I've got wet feet. That would be like, oh, I'm dead. So I'm just coming away from that little river. So I'm just gonna find a little flattish area I can't see anything. It's a new moon and it's pitch black, but I've got my, uh, you know, my Garmin so I can see where I am on the map. Oh, that was a rookie mistake. Silly, but I'm glad I realized when I did. What's that there? Ooh, it's a big old rock. Huh. <laughs> I wonder how that ended up there. Okay, see, I was thinking about pitching down there, but I'm not gonna pitch under that. Yeah, let's keep looking. I'm gonna pitch here. I don't know what I'm in view of, because I can't see anything. I think this will be nice and safe here. I'm not in the line of flood water, potential flood water, or falling rocks. Right, let's just check on the map and have a look. I think this will be okay. Yeah, so before we were about there, right on that little river. But now we're up on this little rocky outcrop. I think that's a safe distance. So that's the lake in question. As you can see, if that burst its banks, it's gonna flood, follow it down right through my little camp there. It's not gonna get me here. Yeah, much happier here. Hey, the tent is up. <laughs> Round two. It is actually such a beautiful night. 
It is so still and cold, but I'm lovely and warm. The stars are out. I actually really, really loved that little misadventure. I think, I mean, it's hard to tell because I can't see my surroundings, but I've got a feeling we're gonna be more exposed here to the wind, but that's okay. I've got a good tent for it. And you know, worst comes to worst, I prefer a smashed up tent any day over flood water. So yeah, I think that's all right. Oh, what a night. I've just been letting my eyes adjust to the darkness and even with the naked eye, I could see this low bank of cloud come in over you, I do, in front of us and over Moshbud over there. And I took some photos and the stars are all entwined with mist and fog and it just looks absolutely magical. It's so gorgeous. So we are pitched at 330 meters at the moment. I'm really glad I moved. I'm really glad as well that I'm not down in that valley because any rain is just gonna flow all the way down. I think this is a nice place to be here on this little rocky outcrop. And today has been only a four kilometer day. It really amazes me. Sometimes I come out here and I'm so surprised how far I can go. And I just plow through it and then other times I hardly get anywhere. And I'm also really glad that I didn't take that big 20 kilometer route because I don't think I would have got very far and right now I'd be camped up really high on a ridge with bad weather come in. So tomorrow I want to have a nice lazy start again and then I think I want to head to the mines check them out and then make our way up to the lake up there for night three which may turn out to be a real crazy weather camp we'll see but at the moment it is so lovely and still. It really doesn't feel like bad weather's coming. So maybe the forecast is wrong, or maybe this is the calm before the storm. And after all that, the rain just never came. Never mind, eh? Where we are. Look around. Oh wow. Oh, that's nice. Nice view of the valley. Look, there's that rock I walked past yesterday and didn't want to camp in front of. Morning, you guys. I am loving this in here this morning. I love being in a tent in the rain. I had a really good sleep last night. I felt really warm, really cozy, really comfy. So really good today. I think this weather might be in for the rest of the trip and that's fine. I really like a bit of rain. And I love this pitch we've got. Of course, I can see it now and it's really great. I've got gorgeous views across the valley. I could see Marshabod earlier, but he's disappeared into the clouds now. And I could even see the very tip of Truman, but he's gone as well now. It's warmed up now to about five degrees. So we've got rain instead of snow. Got some condensation in here. You can see the mat's a bit wet from where the condensation's been dripping. But it's a well sealed tent. So. I've had a really lovely, lazy morning this morning, and I think I'm ready to get packed up now. And we're going to head over in that direction, check out the old mines, and then I want to try and see if we can get up to that lake for tonight's pitch which might be a bit crazy if the wind comes in as well, but it'll be good fun. Today is not a distance day at all. It's just about enjoying being out in the rain and enjoying being out here without worrying about how many miles I'm doing. I only just realized this morning that I've been putting my gaiters on the wrong legs. <laughs> never mind, day. Eh? As you can tell, I've never used them before, but I think I'm doing it right now. Let's go. 
that away. Oh, hey there. That's the mines. A big slag heap. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Again, it's fenced off as usual. But look, that over there is like a shaft. And I think that's the air shaft for the train tunnel. And the train runs right under here. That is a big pile of rock. It's hard from down here to appreciate just how big this pile of rock is. Let's have a look from above. So that's the mines oh, and the rest of the day will be spent trying to find a way to the lake up there it's pretty sloshy everywhere but uh oh i am loving being out here i've been feeling a bit not quite myself since i did my ankle i don't know i've had to rest it but made me feel kind of restless and uh, yeah I just I love being back out here I can feel my soul coming back to life I've missed it you know like cold November rain like a man without a name so this is when waterproof socks are amazing. Like a song without a friend. It's our fear without you. Woo! Look, here's one of those hidden bogs, look. It just looks like grass. Right, it's quarter past one. We are at about 370 meters elevation. I don't think I'm going to be stopping for lunch today. Mm. <laughs> so it'll be a eating snacks as you go kind of a day. So I think I'm going to get a little further up here and then try and tuck in around that rocky outcrop in the direction of the lake. We're getting there. <sighs> Got a bit of wind up here. Another moment that I'm really glad I'm not up on that ridge trying to do this 20 kilometer route. See what we can see over this bit here. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Onward. Can't go through that, so going up and round. Yeah, look, that whole area down there is just waterlogged. So this little stream here is the same one that I initially pitched right next to last night, right down there. And if there had been some kind of flood, there would just be a torrent of water flooding down this valley straight down to where we were camped last night so if we follow this little stream it's gonna take us to the lake which is just over here we're nearly there oh yeah look <laughs> there she is hello lake <gasps> oh we made it oh, what on earth is that Oh, that's so weird. Do you think aliens have landed here? That's really odd. I've never seen that before. Oh, so we're about 450 meters now. And uh, I'm gonna find somewhere to pitch for the night. Don't wanna be too close to the lake, because I think this weather's gonna carry on, but yeah, we won't be too far away from it either. I wanna have lake views. 
how bleak and beautiful. Right, let's have a look for somewhere. I'm gonna pitch down here, Got a lovely flat bit and that rock behind might give me a little bit of shelter from the wind. And I've got my own personal slime down here. How cool, so I can just keep an eye on that, see if it turns into anything. It's weird. Everything is in the tent. The tent is completely dry inside and all my gear is completely dry as well. So this is how I get myself all soaking wet currently into my tent without getting the inside of my tent wet. So the first thing I do is get my wet stuff off my butt area so that I can just park myself in the tent with my legs out and sort of just work my stuff off as I go. Get the wet coat off. Towel is also very useful. Just get all this stuff off. Look, dry sucks still. <laughs> I mean, just about everything on me is damp, but my socks are dry. <laughs> right, so that's one leg in, all dry. my nice warm dry clothes on now. I'll sort all this stuff out in a little while. Right, so I'm gonna get my wet top stuff off now. As you can see, just from forgetting and leaning on my legs, I've already made my bed trousers wet, but they'll dry pretty quick, that's okay. I mean, I've been wearing a waterproof and then my winter coat over the top as well and my clothes are still pretty damp. Oh. That's better than it was. <laughs> right, I'm lovely and cozy and dry now in my sleeping bag. So on this side, is the dry section, everything is nice and dry in here and everything on this side, this is the soggy wet section where all the wet stuff stays. I'm nice and warm so what I'm doing is gradually one by one putting on my damp layers. So just letting them dry one by one by my body heat and then hopefully I'll only have to put on wet bottoms tomorrow. I hate putting wet clothes on. So yeah, I'm gonna try, try and dry them off. Right, so we are pitched up at 460 meters, right next to Dindurinagad. 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 Right next to a lake. And right next to our goo as well. So we'll see what happens to that by the morning. I don't know what that is, that weird slime. It's really intriguing me. What is it now? It's about four o'clock, I think. So the sun's gonna set in about half an hour and I'm gonna have a lovely chill one tonight. Just chill out, have some food. I've only walked two kilometers today. Such short days now. And with this terrain and the weather being what it is, don't get very far. So what's that total? We did a five and then a four, now a two. And I think I've got like one, one and a half back to the Crimea Pass in the morning. So that'll be what? About 12, 13 kilometre circular, which is amazing actually for me in November. I don't usually get that far in the winter. So I'm really pleased with that. Ooh. Time for some tea. gusty you know I think last time I was able to look at 
mountain weather forecast, it was saying for tonight that it would be 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts. So it could be some really strong winds tonight. But I'm in one of the best tents for it. And even if this tent were to fail, I'm in a bivy bag. Fine, well prepared.
of slime this morning. What is that? Is it something to do with that frog? to practice being thankful for everything not just the good stuff because to be human is to experience both joy and sadness pleasure and pain contentment and fear it's just not possible to only exist in the easy end of the spectrum all of the time I guess gratitude for difficulty doesn't come too naturally. As humans, we're programmed to run from all that uncomfortable stuff, but to choose to accept a certain level of discomfort, to be okay with being afraid sometimes, it enriches my experience of what it is to be alive. I used to hope for the sunsets and the sunrises, but I've come to love every part of this. Hello, Paul. Nice bit of rain to finish you off with. Right, I'm on the home stretch. Thanks for watching, guys. So here's to another truly wild experience. Here's to this brutal, unforgiving, but beautiful life we're living. The aliens have landed here. Hey friends. And here's to you, a remarkable person who survived literally everything that life has thrown your way. You're pretty amazing, huh? <laughs>